By the end of this module, you will be able to learn about uniform motion, non-uniform motion, uniform circular motion. Coming back to motion, we will now discuss the types of motion. There are basically two types of motion. Uniform motion, non-uniform motion. When equal distance is covered in equal interval of time, the motion is said to be in uniform motion. The motion of a body is said to be uniform when its velocity is constant. The bodies moving with constant speed or velocity have uniform motion or increase at the uniform rate. In other words, objects travel at a constant speed in the same direction. The graph for uniform motion is a straight line graph. B. Non-uniform motion When unequal distances are covered in equal interval of time, the motion is said to be in non-uniform motion. The bodies executing non-uniform motion have varying speed or velocity. In non-uniform motion, speed and direction of motion are changed. Most of the motions which we come across in our daily life are non-uniform. The graph for non-uniform motion is a curved shaped graph. A car moving in a crowded street, a person jogging in a park, a racing horse, merry-go-round, swing, etc. What is the shape of the distance time graph showing uniform motion and non-uniform motion? The distance time graph is a straight line showing that the motion is uniform. The distance time graph for non-uniform motion is a curved shape graph. Okay. Let's now discuss the motion of the objects having circular motion. The uniform motion of a body in a circular path is uniform circular motion. When a body is moving in a circular path, it changes its direction each time. At all the points in the path, it will be tangent to the circle and will be undergoing the uniform speed, but varying acceleration. In uniform circular motion, speed of the object is always constant and direction is changing. Thus, velocity of the object is changing and as a result, object has acceleration. We come across many illustrations of uniform circular motion in our daily life. Here are some. A merry going round with constant speed. An athlete in a race running in circular path maintaining consistent speed. Artificial satellites moving around the earth. Earth moving around the sun. We now come to the end of this lesson on motion. Can you now tell me the summary of the things I explained to you? Sure bro. Go ahead. Let me see how much you have been able to grasp. Listen carefully. Motion is relative. Motion of an object depends on the observer. Distance is the path length traversed and displacement is the shortest distance in a specified direction. Average speed is the distance covered per unit and average velocity is the displacement in a specified direction per unit time. Speed at an instant is instantaneous speed, which gives the idea of how fast the position of the body changes. Velocity is speed in specified direction. A body has acceleration when the velocity of the body changes. The motion is said to be uniform accelerated motion if acceleration is constant. The equations of uniform accelerated motion are given by V equal to U plus AT, S equal to UT plus 1 by 2 at 2, V square minus U square equal to 2AS. The motion is uniform when the velocity is said to be constant. Excellent! I am impressed. I am confident that you'll now score good marks in tomorrow's exams.
I am also confident, bro. The credit will surely go to you. The pleasure is all mine. At the end of this module, you have learned uniform motion, non-uniform motion, uniform circular motion.